Today we're going to talk about the new Netflix original film, The Two Popes, so let's get started. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today we're going to talk about the new Netflix original film, The Two Popes, which stars Anthony Hopkins and Jonathan Price. This comes from the same director of City of God, which is one of the best foreign films I have ever seen. So I was really excited to see The Two Popes. Behind the Vatican walls, Pope Benedict and the future Pope Francis must find common ground to forge a new path for the Catholic Church. I found the two popes to be a really insightful, also really entertaining film. This took Pope Benedict, who came out and told Pope Francis that he wanted to retire. But throughout the movie, you get a lot of them arguing about certain things while also trying to find things that they have in common. Also having conversations that just flow really easily. There's conversations about popular TV shows. There's conversations about ABBA. Jonathan Price and Anthony Hopkins give really good performances in the movie. The relationship starts off a little bit rocky, but as the movie progresses, we get an understanding of these characters and that these are big figures in the world, in the Catholic Church. They really dive deep into these people and have them just be humans. What Pope Francis had to go through during the 70s and 80s really carved to who he is now. And Pope Benedict's willingness to retire and willing to what he has to sacrifice and all the hate that he would get. The movie does definitely paint them as just humans, not just people who are big figures in the world. They give them emotions and they give them a sense of realism. At times, this movie can also be really funny with Pope Francis and Pope Benedict. The movie opens up really funny with one of them calling the concierge and them not believing that they're the Pope. But the conversations that they have throughout the movie flow really well. And as they're learning about each other, it brings some of that humor out within this movie. Now, I don't know how realistic this movie is, if anything is truly real, but I know that these are real people. I have not brushed up on the popes throughout the years, but I do recognize these names. The story focuses a lot on Pope Francis in Argentina in the 70s and 80s. And he had much of a less conservative way to dealing with certain things in the Catholic Church but it gives an honest look at who he is and his beliefs. I found The Two Popes to be a really engaging film. There's times where the movie just seems to be going on for a long time and it's just them two talking, which I really did appreciate. It kind of slowed it down and you were interested in what they were talking to each other about. It had the Catholic agenda within the movie, but also had a human touch to the movie as well, where they're just discussing television and sports and different things like that. So that side of the movie, that aspect, I really did appreciate. The stories that they share are deeply touching and you feel that they are very emotional as well. They're being very vulnerable and sharing all of their feelings to each other when they don't have that much to share and they don't have that much in common from the beginning. Visually, this movie is elegant as well. It's beautiful to look at. It's shot beautifully. But I just appreciated how genuine and honest this movie was. It was sweet at times. It was funny. But overall, it was a very calm movie about two people that had differences that came together, shared their stories, and start to come to a common ground. So before I give my final thoughts and score on the two posts, make sure to subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Got a lot planned for the rest of the year. Of course, Star Wars is coming out. Got some more Oscar contender reviews coming your way. And of course, the best list of the year as well. We're almost to 6,000 subscribers, guys. I really do appreciate all the support I've gotten throughout the years. I, it really does mean a lot to me. And I can't wait to see what 2020 brings for the channel. So the two popes, I really enjoy the performances from Jonathan Price and Anthony Hopkins. It's a really refreshing film from the director of City of God. If you have not seen that movie, definitely check it out. But this movie is humorous at times. It's touching. It's sweet. Overall, it's a good film. And I'm going to go ahead and give The Two Popes an A-. Thank you guys for checking my review for Netflix film The Two Popes. If you guys seen it, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section down below. It's in theaters now, but it's also coming to Netflix very soon. So make sure to check it out on Netflix when it arrives. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.